Welcome to the solution of the Don't Checkmate Brain Teaser. Here we have a problem that you would never see in a typical game of chess, but I found this problem absolutely brilliant and fun, and hopefully you do too. And the idea is to not put your opponent in checkmate. So the rules are simple. It's White's turn to move, and we need to find one move that will not result in immediate checkmate of black. So at this point, I recommend to pause the video now if you don't want to see the solution yet, because we are about to go over the answer to this brain teaser. So the first thing I noticed when I tried to solve this problem for the first time was that most of the white pieces are either blocked or can only move to one space. Except for this rook, which I'm circling in red. Now, this rook has many options. It can move six spaces to the left or one space to the right. So immediately I had a good idea that this rook was probably the piece that we had to move in order to solve this brain teaser. But the problem is, if we move this rook, then immediately the black king is going to be in check from this white bishop, which I just circled in green. So at this point, the only way for black to get out of check would be to move the king, which is not an option because every space the king is allowed to move will still be in check. Or we need to capture or block the white bishop. And this is possible. We can capture the white bishop with the rook I just circled in pink. But once again, we're going to run into another problem. If we move this rook, which I just circled in pink, then the black king is still going to be in check from the other bishop, which I just circled in orange. So now you can see why this problem is so beautifully simple, yet complex at the same time. But let's not waste any more time. Let me show you the one move that white can make that will not result in immediate checkmate of black. So I was right by thinking we have to move the rook, which I circled in red. But we have to move it four spaces to the left. So once again, the black king is going to be in check from the bishop, which I just circled in orange. But this time, this bishop can be captured by the rook. Because now, the black rook is no longer restricted, since the white bishop, which I just circled in red, is being blocked by the rook which we just moved.